Hi everybody, it's Martin here. Um, it's February 2024, so I know I only did a video last week and it was a box of seven inch singles, so you can go back and watch that if you want. Um, yeah, this isn't a rant, maybe it's a bit of a moan. Anyway, um, I haven't bought any records for Ooh, probably most of January, I don't think, actually. Um, partly financial, partly maybe space a little bit, um, or lack of it. And, <clears throat> yeah, just, uh, uh, things are fine, you know, they're all right. Um, I think I said last week I listened to a lot of music on uh, um, radio anyway. Now, I saw a video... I can't remember the guy's name. It was something like NTX Vinyl or something. Anyway, he was saying about the, the crux of it was if you have a big collection of records and you go on Discogs and you want to value it, you're never going to get that much money for it unless you sell individually records, which is um, very true, actually. You know, I've doubled in selling. You can do okay whether it's online or at fairs fairs are far more fun to sell at i think um and, and they're probably more fun to buy at as well for most of us unless you're uh you know you're extremely introverted and don't want to face people to buy records i, I don't know anyway um so what was my point exactly can't quite remember really but um uh yeah just not bought any records for some practical reasons as well I suppose just being busy and um, what not anyway um, what have I got to talk about today right without ranting okay so it occurred to me someone in the VC well Mazzy basically has done these uh, wanker videos and you know some people um like that sort of stuff i i found it very interesting very amusing it's just um maybe it's partly demonizing people or or um uh you know other people being raised up so some people that have been criticized for instance now what started this thread was okay was radiohead as being a good band um yeah that's what it was and i was thinking about the smile and i've heard some of the stuff that they've done and people just like it i think for the sake of it to me it's just nowhere near as good or interesting as radiohead it just sounds like he's mumbling and um yeah i suppose that's my uh thing that i was thinking about at the moment anyway and uh well roger waters um i think he got dropped uh just recently from his record label for uh obviously we all know what political things and nazis and jews and and i know i know that i think his dad died didn't he like during the second world war or something so he didn't grow up with um his father uh you too it seems to be if you don't like um uh, where is he come here hello ah here he is seems to be if you don't like bono um i actually found this you know aldi if you're in britain in the supermarket uh i found this um uh Sorry, this is a bit of a ramble, isn't it? Anyway, it, uh, Aldi at the end, you have a basket of stuff that's free free food. And then you, some people donate books. Now, this book, I think it came out last year. And I was having an ahhing about buying it. But I don't hate Bono, basically. <clears throat> but, uh, whatever his opinion is, he seems a bit more... Um, um, moderate, in a way. I suppose, in, in his uh, views than some other people. Anyway, um, what was my point now? 
Uh, oh yeah, so Bono, it, it seems if you don't really like him, it's almost like you're not allowed to like U2 or U2 aren't cool because Bono's in U2 and oh, doesn't he go on? Anyway, another one that goes on that people, uh, you know, I, I'm not particularly struck on Morrissey, to be honest, but I've got that. I like some of his tracks. I read his uh, autobiography. That was really good read i know he probably has different opinions now his ultimate wanker is um gallagher's i guess that's another one now what what would it be like okay if if for instance um people heard something bad about kylie something really nasty yeah this isn't a thread by the way but you can I'd like it if you talked about it in the comments maybe if people said about Al Green Reverend Al Green that his sir he went they went to his church and they said his sermons are really poor really they're not to the gospel as it should be what would it be like if um well if people heard uh Cat Stevens or Yusuf Islam was a really nasty man you know really horrible uh or Barry Manilow, for instance, if they heard he was really horrible to somebody, you know, or he murdered somebody, I don't know. Anyway, and just one more. Uh, Henri American, I suppose. Julie Andrews there. That is Julie Andrews on a Moondog album. Um, yeah, so what, what would that be like? I don't know. It's, um, yeah, I know it's strange times, but it, it's always been a strange world anyway. So um that's the end of that that was that was seven minutes that wasn't too bad was it for you hopefully right um uh dale gatefold 33 um talked a few months ago about these books so i got them for christmas they're both on bbc records you see it's got the mock um uh sleeve here this is all about singles that they released and this is a real thick heavy um wad of of albums and uh whatnots mm. smells quite good too anyway so it's written by a guy called uh tim worthington i think he ended up um uh or rather i i think i might end up getting into buying because they're always cheap usually aren't they bbc records and I'm thinking, should I file them all together or something? I don't know. It'd be quite a, quite a, a interesting thing to do. Anyway, something I don't usually do. But um, yeah, so I'll show some BBC records. Yeah, I mean, I uh, go into some sort of depth. I'm just going to so, show some. I could, I could have done a proper video about this. So here's an album, Symphony of the Body. It's REC367. Um typical sort of thing you might find here in the UK keep fit album you've probably been through that tons of times uh, you've got some radiophonic workshop this is a bit more like late eight uh, early 80s I think uh, sci-fi effects you've got your Blake 7 your Doctor Who on there I have got another Doctor Who album somewhere presume that something like this was brought out so that when um people did like a cine film or something they could put the sound to it or uh yeah or they were doing sort of like plays and shows and things uh kids records of course place to play school i sort of grew up on a bit of that you got your hump tea um hamble jemima little ted and big ted down there Radiophonic Workshop. Hey, this looks a bit like uh, my bedroom. Sorry, my record room. Yeah. Uh, and then the big selling... Uh, I've got three Not the, not the Nine O'Clock News albums there. So that's that. That didn't take too long, did it? That was relatively uh, painless. So I've got, I've got a good read here in this book. I've already read the little one already. So thanks to Dale for tipping me off to these books. Got them for Christmas. And um, yeah, they're just easy to dip in and out of, you know, rather than a whole a whole book, which I will leave a fall asleep reading. 
or I, I, I just won't get round to it, to be honest with you, certainly at the moment. Anyway, last week, I think I promised or suggested that I would show some records that I was going to sell. Or Now, when I get round to that, I've actually no idea when that will be. Anyway, let's have a look. Let's have a look, see what we've got. I've got a load of singles here, um, albums. Yeah. yeah, let's just grab them. So I've got that which I suppose I could say it's okay. I'm not particularly struck on it. It's five o'clock singles quite um, good. I've got this. I'm not going to listen to this. Wah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. Hall of Notes, quite happy with the greatest hits. Um, that's shaky. I don't mind a bit of shaky, but I prefer just the old single of his. And the one I really, really like is the uh, cover version of What Do You Want to Make Those Eyes at Me For with the amusing video in a in a English high street. And it's not on here. You know, some of the others I quite like. Green Door, This Old House, etc. Well, I think I've already... This is a duplicate here. Look at that. It's got a nice... Tear there. Yeah. My, yeah. Love Will Tear Us Apart. <laughs> Can you believe that he covered that? How bizarre is that? Uh, is this just duplicate, I think, or something? Is this, uh, yeah. Eurythmics. They're good singles bands, Eurythmics. And, uh, no, who was it? I think Rob Walker showed that in the garden, or Into the Garden album that Eurythmics did. I'd quite like to hear that. That's a duplicate. Uh, I should say, show stuff I'm not particularly that mad on. I'm not particularly mad on this one. Um, I've got the soundtrack to the film yeah at the moment it, it's it's in the outbox shall we say i'm sure a lot of you would do this maybe not just you sort of trade stuff but you sort of um um get stuff or you you, you think you're going to get rid of it and then you like change your mind and stuff um i've got a doobie brothers album here uh what else Oh, this, um, I think I showed this about six months ago. It's a video game music from uh, Japan. I've got uh, quite plain folk, Martin Carthy, really, in a way. Um, you know, I'm not knocking the song, but sometimes even like a more collectible Shirley Collins album I've, I found or I've got, I was thinking I could just sell that because it's all these songs you've heard before. But then it's the way it's done with uh, with her sister on the um, mouth organ or whatever it's called. I'm not sure. Um, what else we got here? That. I think I showed that quite recently as well. I'm not particularly struck on that, to be honest. Uh, what else we got here? That. Um, Wing, that Wings album. You know, I found that before, and uh, I mean, this is quite a collectible record. Um, yeah, it's all right, but I wouldn't say there's anything special. I think the only one I really like was there one track on here that I like. Could it be Can You Feel It? I'm not sure. Can't remember now. Anyway, I've got it on a classic mass, uh, classic house master cuts um, album. Uh, there's a King Crimson one that's just a bit not that great. Uh, and um, <laughs> it's rather ridiculously when I have more money I um, bought Mr Ben and I haven't opened it or anything I've just left it I listened to it online and well wasn't really that struck on it to be honest it was a more, more modern one what was this Retribution Gospel Choir sort of indie yeah that's some. What have we got here? Yeah, a few bits and bobs there. Nothing. Oh, this, this sort of is quite. Meh, it's all right, you know. Anyway, so I think I'll leave it at that. Try and put it under 15 minutes. Um, if this seems like a bit of a ramble, I hope you enjoyed it, you know. Um, maybe just needed to get a few things off my chest. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's it. Okay, February 2024.
Ramble. Thanks for watching. Bye.